Hello everyone, so I'm going to show you how you can use quizzes.com uh, for your assessment, especially if you are handling online class for this new normal. So as a teacher, we are trying or looking for ways so that we can make our online class uh, more interactive and of course engaging for our students, especially if we will be uh, giving an assessment. So this is quizzes.com. So as you can see, you just type quizzes.com and first thing is you need to make an account as an educator so I already made one so this is actually my account so now in quizzes you can actually make your own um, assessment or you can actually get or search for made uh, quiz uh, quizzes by other educators so I'm going to show you how you can actually uh, modify or adopt a certain uh, quiz and of course you can actually edit it you can actually modify it and so on so first thing is example lang po so in the search type mo yung gusto mong quiz let's say for example you want to look for a quiz about plate tectonics okay plate tectonics so click natin yung search so of course it will give you different options here so marami kang makikita dito na mga options okay now, pili ka lang ng gusto mo. So, let's say, for example, uh, yung, uh, tingnan mo kung ilang beses na laro yan. So, here, mayroon siyang 29.1 thousand times na nilaro. So, this is for 6th uh, grade uh, to 8th uh, grade level. So, yan, titignan mo yan. So, just in case gusto mo ito, okay, click natin yan. Select natin. Okay. So, ito yung magiging tsura niya. Okay. And then, you can also see some, the, you can also review the questions here. Now, if okay sa yung mga tanong dito, you can always uh, click start a live quiz, especially kung meron kang online class, pwede mo nang i-click yan. But, if you want to modify a little or may gusto kang baguhin or bawasan uh, dito sa quiz na ito, ang gagawin mo lang ay i-click mo tong edit. Okay, you click the edit part. And then, so wait lang natin, sir. So, ito na yung edit part. So, ibig sabihin, kung nakikita nyo, you can edit the question. Kung clinic mo yung edit, pwede mong, okay, kung pwede mong i-modify yung tanong. Pwede mo din baguhin yung, yung key answer, yung tamang sagot, and of course, the choices. So, let's see, ganun yung pag-edit. And you can even add pictures if you want, okay? So, so wala kong babaguhin. Dito din sa mga choices, pwede mong lagyan ng image. It's up to you. So, kung wala ka namang babaguhin, so pinakita ko lang. And then, even the time. How long uh, will it take for your students to answer uh, this question? So, medyo masyadong matagal na yung 5 minutes. So, maybe I could give them maybe 30, 45 seconds would be enough. Kasi multiple choice naman. And then, click save. Okay? So, pwede mong i-modify yung tanong na kinuha mo which is made by other educators and then another is you can actually let's say for example yeah so pag tinignan ko ito masyadong uh, the question is about California so I have the option na pwede ko siyang i-edit pero pwede ko din siyang tanggalin so i-delete natin okay delete the, this question so automatic mag adjust yan okay and then another okay you can actually duplicate just in case you want to duplicate it Aside from this, what you can do is, okay, you can add a new question. So, ito yung questions na kinuha natin, no? Pwede ka magdagdag ng bago. So, kung i-click mo tong new, new question, so, mamili ka kung anong type ng question mo. So, multiple choice, gawin natin multiple choice. Since about plate tectonic, ano pa yung kulang na question dito? So, let's say, for example, yung kulang pang question is, um, uh, what is the thinness uh, layer of the earth something like that question lang and then let's put uh, an option here a crust a mantle uh, in uh, outer core and then here inner core okay and then of course dito natin pili ng sagot so merong kang uh, check chan so click natin yan sorry Yan. So, ta yan na yung tamang sagot. And then, gano'ng kahaba? So, 30 seconds yung kanilang uh, given time sa pagsagot. And then, of course, you can also add explanation if you want to. Okay? Kung gusto mo lagyan ng explanation yung sagot, pwede din mo ding ilagay yan. So, that's your option. So, click save kung wala nang problema. So, ito yung magiging itsura niya actually. Okay? Click save. So, click natin yung save. 
Okay, so yan. So, nadagdag na yung ginawa kong question. Okay? Another is, if you are not yet contented dun, dito sa mga tanong dito, pwede kang kumuha pa sa mga ibang questions na ginawa ng mga ibang educator. So, you have this teleport. So, let's see. Click natin yung teleport. Okay? And here, makikita mo, type mo yung uh, gusto mong mga questions. So, play tectonics pa rin ang aking gustong hanapin. So, tingnan ko to ibang mga questions dito. Baka may pwede akong makuha pa na pwede kong idagdag. Okay? So, let's say for example, about play tectonics. So, dito. Tingnan natin dito. So, scroll ko yan. Hanap ako ng questions na medyo uh, uh, connected doon sa uh, sa aking lesson. So, let's say for example, uh, this one, gusto ko ito. So, makikita nyo pag hinover ko dito sa question na yan, lalabas yung ad. So, click natin yung ad. Okay. And then, if we will close this, okay, automatic nakadagdag na ngayon dito sa aking uh, uh, quiz editor or dito sa aking ginagawa na question. So, as you can see, I have 21 um, questions. So, medyo marami. So, medyo marami yan. So, ang gagawin ko ngayon, babawasan ko. So, it's up to you. Pwede mo siyang i-edit kahit na ginawa ito ng ibang educators or teachers. You have that uh, privilege. So, delete ko yan kasi medyo uh, marami na itong sasagutin ng mga bata. Especially if I will use this assessment for as formative assessment or pre-assessment. Okay? So, pwede kong i-delete yung mga hindi kailangan. So, yan. So, automatic yan mag a -adjust. Okay? Walang problema. Yan. So, gawin ko lang siyang uh, 15. Gawin kong 15 lang yung items. Okay? Para hindi masyadong mahaba yung pagsagot ng mga bata. So, tingnan ko kung 15 na. Okay? So, bawasan pa natin ng isa. Hanap pa ako dito. Yan. Okay. So, 15 na yung aking items. Okay, dito. So, kung okay na, so again, may I repeat, if you want to add new questions, i-click nyo to. Kung gusto mo mag-teleport or you get uh, more questions from other uh, made quizzes, okay, made by other educators, click nyo yung teleport. And again, you can always edit, you can duplicate, you can delete, okay, you can even change the seconds, how long pala, kung kaya how long the students can answer. And then, and then if everything is okay, you click done. Okay, click done. So, it will be saved. Automatic, malalagay yan sa iyong library. Nandito sa sa my library mo. Yan. So, just in case you want to go back. So, kung gusto, ready ka na. Ready ka ng gamitin ito for your online class or you want to give it to your students or post it sa Google Classroom, i-click mo lang to. Okay, click mo yung questions na ginawa mo. So, ito yon. So you can see 15 questions and then uh, what I do most of the time is ginagamit ko siya for uh, synchronous online class okay as pre assessment so pwede din yung asynchronous pwede mo siyang ibigay na assignment i-post mo sa uh, Google uh, Classroom so start natin click natin yung start alive so click natin yung class classic and then wait lang natin so classic so yan so may mga options ka pa dito if you want to change, it's up to you. And then you click continue here. And then kapag click mo yung continue. Yeah. So let's say for example, nasa Zoom or Google, um, nasa gumagamit ka ng Google Meet, online class mo. So pwede mong i-share yung screen mo para makita ng mga bata yung uh, itong ito, joinmyquiz.com and then the code. So that's how I use it. I share my screen during online class, during synchronous online class para makita nila ito. And then they answer it. So yun yung, yung, yun yung kakandahan niya. Kapag uh, gagamitin mo yung quizzes at medyo uh, gusto mong hindi ka na mag-type ng mga sagot, pwede mong mag-adapt. Pwede ka mag-adapt or kumuha sa mga ginawang mga questions ng mga ibang educators na gumagamit ng quizzes. So, kapag nakasagot na kayo dito sa pieces, you don't need to answer the pre-assessment posted doon sa Google Classroom natin. But what you need to do is, you just take a picture screenshot, okay? Let's have the pre-assessment continue. And then, you enter the code 972114. So, click ko na yung start. Actually, pwede naman pa rin naman kayo mag-join. 
So let's start the pre-assessment for continental grief theory. You look at your the monitor of your gadget. If you're using your phone or your or, or your okay. you may start now. It's okay if you can just uh, okay. you can answer the pre-assessment and then do it in the Google Classroom. Yes. Okay. So let's see. Okay, Fidel, Sir, Charmaine, Vision, there we go. Okay, so I would like you to screenshot your name. Yan, pag may screenshot, may mga naka-master, ibig sabihin, 100% wala silang isunay. Okay, so pag screenshot niyo yung pangalan niyo. So, yan yung ilalagay nyo sa electronic portfolio niyo. Answer the pre-assessment po sa classroom. The rest, you can skip that part and go and proceed to page uh, 2 to the activity. Okay, and I'm going to... Okay, so next screenshot ko na dyan. I'm going to download the result because I need to record the your pre-assessment. So, I have now the, the 